Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's talk about the beta elimination. So they told when the Hello Alkane, this is my Hello Alkane. With the beta carbon, why it's beta carbon? Let's understand. See, see the one with the halogen is called alpha carbon and any atom any carbon that is adjacent to it which has a hydrogen is called beta carbon. for example let me take you through this example ch3 ch2 ch2 ch cl ch2 ch3 so in this case my this carbon is a alpha carbon. Why? Because it has a halogen attached. And now this will be a beta carbon and this will be a beta carbon. There are two beta carbon here. Correct. So please remember, so beta carbon is nothing but, I mean alpha carbon is nothing but the one which has halogen attached. So halogen is alpha carbon. Right. And then a carbon adjacent to alpha carbon is called beta carbon. So here there are two beta carbon. In this case, this was my alpha carbon because it had a halogen. And in this case, there's only one carbon adjacent to this carbon, right? Because it is degree one. So this is my beta carbon. Correct. If this, if you take this example, let's suppose CH3, 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 and CH3. So if you see, in this case, this is my alpha carbon because this is the one which has chlorine attached and there are three beta carbon. Correct. So alpha carbon is the one which you will determine that is nothing but the carbon which has my halogen attached and the beta carbon is nothing but the carbon adjacent to alpha carbon. Correct. So in this elimination reaction, you get alkenes. You see alkenes are formed. Correct. So if you see, I am using, a, I can use potassium hydroxide also, K plus OH minus here. So this guy OH minus also a very strong base. So what it will do? Since uh, see, attack this hydrogen here, correct? It will attack the hydrogen here and then it will take out the hydrogen and it will be a E2 reaction. In the same step, this Br minus will be gone, this will be a leaving group and it will form a double bond. Right? That's a beta elimination reaction. If you see in this case, my alpha halogen and beta hydrogens are getting removed. Most common example of elimination reaction is beta elimination reaction only. As I told, I'll discuss the major product. So we have seen one example where we have reacted uh, uh, this compound, uh, I just draw here. This compound with NaOACS3 and there are one minor product, one major product. I told, I'll discuss that. So let's discuss one example where you get one major product and one minor product and understand why you get that. So let's, let's take this. This is, let's suppose my compound CH3, CH2, CCH3, CH3 and Br. Let's suppose this is my compound and I'm reacting this guy with NaOCH3, which is a base, right? This is the minus charge here, and Na plus. Correct, this is the base here. And let me have this in a ape, uh, this is CH3OH, that is a protic solid, right? Why? Because I am looking for even reaction here. I'm looking for an even reaction here so that I can form a carbocation and we can see what happens here. So since this is a protic solvent, this is a protic solvent. So what will happen is, this protic solvent will uh, help this bromine is, and bromine is a good leaving group. The bromine is a good leaving group. So both this factor, good leaving group and protic solvent will help in forming a carbocation. So the first step will be it will form carbocation. It will be a very slow, very slow step. That's the even reaction, it will form carbocation. CH3 and CH3. Correct, you remove bromine, it will form a carbocation. 
and this was my alpha carbon now if you see there are two beta carbon here one is this and the one is three beta carbon and one is this these two are almost same so we can ignore this because even if you remove hydrogen from this or this will get the same product but if you remove hydrogen from this or this it makes a difference so let's understand which one will be formed so now i have got a carbocation this is unstable it has to be stabilized so there are so many options one option is uh, to get one more uh, halogen but there is no halogen in this whole compound whole solution so there is no extra halogen so there is the only thing we have here is oces3 minus so now oces3 minus can attack and remove one of the hydrogens right so either it can remove this hydrogen or it can remove with this hydrogen the question is which hydrogen will it attack correct the two options either it can remove this hydrogen or it can remove this hydrogen let me uh, number this hydrogen actually this is number carbon 1 this is carbon 2 let's say so it can attack carbon 1 or carbon 2 right? carbon 1 and this carbon is same at least this is carbon both are same so it can attack carbon 1 or carbon 2 so let's see which one it will attack and let's see let's attack each of these so let's attack so this is my attack carbon 1 right this guy so let's see the reaction the product that is formed the product that will form is CH3, CH3, C, and there will be double bond here. CH2 and CH3. Correct? If it attacks carbon 1, correct? Because this is a positive charge here, then this carbon uh, 1 will go. Let me write hydrogens maybe in this fashion if we are not very happy with this. Correct? So now if you see, it can take out this hydrogen and then you'll get CH2 and this uh, will form double bond. Why? Because this hydrogen will give electron to this bond and there will be a double bond here correct because this bond is formed by two electrons and both these electrons will go in this bond so it will form a double bond in this one. or let's assume that this, this is CH2 sorry and let's assume that this attack this carbon carbon 2 so in that case the product will be formed as this one CH3 CH double bond C this is CH3 and this is CH3. This is a double bond. This is what will be formed because you have CH2 here. If you want, they can put like this two hydrogens. Correct. Now, this hydrogen will, in this case, will give electron to this bond. So, if you see, there will be a double bond form and this hydrogen will come out as CH plus and this charge will go up. Correct. Why? If you break this hydrogen bond, it will break into plus and minus. So plus will go in minus and plus will form a bond. If you want this to be an easy form, this you break the bond, you form break in plus and minus, this H plus will go off, and this plus and minus will form a bond. There are two options. Now the question is which one is major? So this will be governed by J stable rule. Right? So it's we will talk about J stable rule in the next uh, component. It says that the most stable, the one which forms the most stable alkene, that will be the major product. So if you see now you have to compare which one is more stable in these. So now if you see this clearly, this if, if I redraw this, so I have a carbon here, this carbon I'm drawing, and then I have a this this C2H5 here, right? I have a CH3 here, and I have this carbon here, the double bond, and then I have two hydrogen. Let's draw this carbon. So I have this carbon here. This I'm drawing. I have a hydrogen here. I have a methyl group here. This methyl group double bond. And here I have a methyl and one methyl. Correct. So now if you see, this looks more stable. Because it says that the more number of CS3 groups the carbon has attached, methyl or ethyl, the more stable is this. So in this, if you see, there are two hydrogen groups and two alkyl groups. Here we have three alkyl groups. So it says that more alkyl group group attached to double bond attached to double bond double bond carbon more stable is the compound. More stable is Compound. So with this, if you see, this one is more stable. Correct? Why? Because 
this has three alkyl group and this has only two alkyl group. So this will be a major proton chain. Right. So let's understand this or understand this JHCF rule. So this is the one it says that the carbon that will lose hydrogen is the one that has fewer hydrogen. Right. The carbon that will lose hydrogen is the one which has fewer hydrogen. So if you see in this reaction also what we have got in the last one, so we have got this carbocation CH2, C. So we I'll show you both actually. We have got, I'll just write both here, carbocation. Both are same actually, just writing in this fashion. Right? So now the, 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 the question was whether it should remove from carbon one or sorry, this is CH2. Carbon one or from carbon two. Right? There are two options, either from this or from this. Right? Because I had a base OCS3 minus. The question was whether it will take out this hydrogen or it will take out this hydrogen. So the rule says it will the carbon which has fewer hydrogen is the one that will lose. If you see this carbon has three hydrogen and this carbon has two hydrogen. So this will lose. This will not happen. This is the jade save rule. Because see for you one option is you actually draw to find two products and find which one is stable that will take time or simply if you are in this step if you are in this, this step where you have got a carbocation and you want to remove hydrogen then remove hydrogen from that beta carbon which has or beta carbon right? beta carbon that lose hydrogen is the one which has fewer hydrogen so if you see in this case this beta carbon had three hydrogen this beta carbon had two hydrogen so we will assume that my base will attack this carbon which had few hydrogen and this is called jet rule of elimination reaction thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again